Sonic. Lab. TV. Right, we're going to take a look at a couple of new products from Universal Audio. With the release of their 6.1 software for the UAD products, we've got the introduction of the two new models. One is the VOG from Little Labs, or Voice of God, which is a little 500 series API kind of size rack mount, originally designed for doing voiceover work, for increasing the sort of chest resonance and adding oomph to vocals. And also the Flanger Doubler from MXR, which is now, uh, the brand is under license from Dunlop. Now both of these, in the usual way uh, for UAD, uh, they've worked with the manufacturers, the original makers, taken their golden units and modelled them incredibly well, uh, made sure that the original manufacturers are happy with the way that they sound and the way that they perform. So let's take a look. Okay, so the first thing I've got to do is go to the Universal Audio site and I download the latest version. Uh, it's available for Mac or Windows. Uh, 248 megabytes on the window on the Mac side. 222. I'm running this on my little MacBook Pro, which has always been fine for it. Uh, then uh, it's a simple matter of downloading your authorizations, and the uh, plugins will show up here. I've got these in demo mode at the moment. Um, which, if you remember, um, any demo, any new plugins you get, I think it's a 14-day unlimited time time demo, so you get plenty of chance to try them out if you're uh, wanting to buy them. Okay, so uh, I'm going to go into my door here. In this case, I'm running on Logic uh, on a MacBook Pro in OS X 10.6.8. I've got this line, which you may have heard before. I love it. It's a sort of monopoly uh, classic analog synthesizer driven hard into a channel with lots of pulse width. Got a real crunch to it. So if I bring the MXR up here, you can see it. It's, it's a familiar looking thing. I'll stop that for a second. Familiar looking thing. It looks very much like the original. The original, in fact, I was looking on eBay and you can, you can pay up to 400 quid for one of these. Uh, and obviously it's only a single instance. So this is, this is pretty much what it looks like. Flanger doubler do, does two kinds of effects, one or the other. What I'm going to do is I'll play this, this and I'll just bring it in. Oh. It just sounds great. It really reminds me of that kind of Roy Scott um, album, recent albums, lots of synth lines going through it. Just such a deep and wide flanger. And they've got a few presets that were made by people. This was uh, based on Advanced Powell Wishwash. Uh, these are people who are sort of well known for their use of these. There's also this Neil Dorfman Hollow Jet, which is more subtle and very slow, not very deep. And uh, it just sounds great. The, the difference between this is got uh, you can sync it to the LFO of the host sequencer. It's got a mono and stereo mode, which allows you to kind of uh, work in, in two different ways. Um, I just love the sound of it. When you hear it, you think, ah yes, that banjo sound, and it really is does sound like something you've probably never heard before, or you, you have heard before, but perhaps didn't know what it was. Uh, there's another one here by, uh, let me see who it is, it's uh, Chuck Zwicky, who is another user, and this is more your sort of classic doubling effect, which sort of reminds me a little bit of um, a sort of 80s eventide sound, and it is quite a kind of classic sound. Overall, I, I just, you know, when you hear it, you just think, ah, oh, yes, that one. I, I don't think you can really get that flanger sound with anything other than MXI. It really had, I think they did the same with the phaser as well. There's certain things that they just did which were just kind of the sound. So anyway, let's take a look at uh, the Little Labs Voice of God plugin now as well. So I'll just switch to another pair of headphones here so I can hear a bit more about what's going on down there. And uh, what I'm doing, uh, it's not something I usually do, uh, but I've, I've got the uh, live input here and I'm running the mic through it and we're going to listen to the UAD uh, Little Labs um, Voice of God plugin. Now uh, originally this was designed for adding body and substance to voiceover, it was like a voiceover tool uh, and so I'll just run that in and so you can have a listen. If I switch it on and you can hear uh, that my, uh, I get more sort of chest and cavity, it gives it like almost like a mic proximity effect and what it's doing is it's creating this peak uh, a resonant peak EQ, but it's also got a 24 dB octave 
cut off down below, so it doesn't muddy it up. It just sort of brings up this sort of resonance, and you can hear that. And I can use the bottom knob to tune the the frequency as I wish. Uh, these buttons affect the center frequency, and then that's the gain. So at the moment, I've got it at 200 with those two in, and you can hear it's starting to get more. Oh, uh, one, two, 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 two. So I could tune it. In, in fact, what um, a lot of people have been using it for, I, I believe anyway, is to add more depth and sort of weight to perhaps female vocalists who haven't got that sort of amount of oomph. But there are other opportunities for use as well, because it can be abused. So I'm just going to switch to uh, another door, uh, which has got another session in it. Amazingly, Reaper <laughs> is running alongside Logic on the same machine and also accessing the UAD plugins. I, I don't know how it works, but I'm just very glad it does. So I've got a session here, which you probably remember from the original uh, UAD um, review I did. And this has actually got quite a lot of um, processing, UAD processing on the kit. So now if I go to the kick drum, I'm just going to solo the kick drum and bring it up and I've got one here set up so I'll just switch it out and I'm going to switch this in now and this is another use for putting it on the bass drum and that's huge, uh, probably too much actually but just for the purposes of this. So now if I, I drop this down you might not be able to hear this. I'm using full gain, but it adds in a massive amount of weight and resonance to this. And if I take it out solo, that bass drum to me has just got this real fundamental wallop, and it's really useful for that sort of thing. I mean, you can use it on basses and all of that sort of stuff as well. So uh, just to re reiterate, the Little Labs, um, I think you can buy it in hardware. I, I was looking uh, new, it's about £385 for the actual hardware unit. One thing that I do keep coming back to whenever I look at the UAD stuff is it has a sort of quality and a completeness of sound. They obviously aim to really nail as far as is humanly possible by DSP the sound of these units and that's clear with the collaboration of the people who make the original things. I mean, if you were going to try and buy an uh, MXR flanger doubler, I mean, aside from the second-hand price, which is quite hefty, you'd also have to make sure that it was well-serviced, looked after, the pots weren't crackly, all of those kind of things. Uh, as far as the Little Labs go, you can still buy the hardware. The hardware is actually quite new from Little Labs. I think it works out at uh, about 356 quid, I said earlier, but you would need a rack and you know power supply and all those things. One thing we haven't looked at yet, though, is uh, DSP usage. Let's quickly check that out. I've just got one UAD uh, Little Labs going on there and that's one and a half percent of uh, one DSP so it's next to nothing really but I, mean, that's, I guess it's just an EQ algorithm. As far as the, uh, if I add now a um, MXR flanger, we can take a look at what it does and that's see 17.9 so that looks like it's about 16 percent of one DSP to run one instance of MXR in stereo mode. So DSP usage, not too bad, bad there. The Voice of God one is negligible. You could run tons of those if you so desired. Uh, MXR, a bit more hefty, but I, unless you're doing some kind of weird, bugged out, retro, flangeathon, psychedelic piece, I can't imagine why you'd want to run more than two or three of those, which of course you may. I mean, really it comes down to whether or not you've got a UAD2 system or not. If you've got one, this is another couple of good reasons why you probably feel good about having one because you can access these great sounding plugins. If you haven't got one, it's unlikely you're going to buy a system just for the MXR or the Voice of God, but bear in mind if you do buy the hardware, they usually turn up in bundles at some point, so you'll probably get a deal. I mean, it's really down to the fact that whether or not you know, you're happy just working natively and accessing the plugins that are available there. But in my opinion, UAD have again sort of made another compelling reason why buying their DSP platform will get you some extra quality that you just can't find anywhere else. <laughs>